What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Ryan Pineda Show and today you're watching our weekly vlog and the purpose of these vlogs is to give you the behind the scenes of this real estate investing game, this business game, real life deals, kind of the behind the scenes stuff that we go through that you don't typically see. Stay tuned. All right, so today we've got some cool stuff. I actually just got off the phone with a seller who I went on an appointment on two days ago and she said she wants to sign. So we're gonna go back to her house. It's potentially a six-figure deal. The house is just totally wrecked. She's just over it. You guys are gonna love it. Hey, what was the deal before I go? Well, you, do, you already lost the first one. <laughs> Second deal, if you get three contracts today, I'll wear a banana suit for a week. All right. You heard it here first. Yeah, what? That works. That looks like it works. Dude, yeah. before we go on this appointment, we've got this Mortal Kombat. Dude, they make it for ants. <laughs> How are you supposed to play that? I gotta screw it you got the, You got the Finish small size, bro. Can you try playing Indian style? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's for Rohan. It's for Rohan. Rohan. <laughs> It'll fit Rohan. Rohan. It's all here. Right here. Right here. A chair? <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, maybe but you're supposed you, to play you with you a got chair. To work? Yeah. But how do you play oh, two guy. players? Definitely. Dude, there's no elbow rope. Two there's players impossible. No elbow. Someone there's has no to be on their rope. knees. And someone has to play. Damn, Daniel. Where are you, you at? Place in the chair. Daniel, Daniel. paper. I've been asking for them to print me a contract for the last 30 minutes. It's apparently really difficult. Asking Sean Bob. You don't know how to print print paper. What do you gotta say for yourself? You don't even want to look. All right, I finally got the contract. Now let's go make a deal. All right, so we're at the property. It is in downtown Las Vegas, which for those of you who don't know, is a lot older, a little hipster area. You know, pretty much every house needs to be renovated, but this one needs a little extra love. seller does not want to be filmed, which is understandable. I'll give you guys the details here in a minute, but in the meantime, should I jump in this pool or not? So I just got the contract signed. I wish I could have videoed it for you, but out of respect for the seller, she didn't want to be on video, so um, we didn't do that. But just to tell you a little bit about this deal, we got it under contract for $120,000 fixed up. It's worth 280 to 300. Now, she knew exactly what it was worth, fixed up. She knows it needs a ton of work, obviously. She's even had a realtor come here and make a proposal as a listing, and she didn't want to do it. You know, and that's where it comes down to having multiple tools in your tool belt, okay? There are people who are dead set on not listing, and she didn't want anyone else to come in the house. She didn't want any inspections. She just wants it done. And we were able to give her that at 120,000. I think it's probably gonna be about a $60,000, $70,000 rehab. At that price for 120, you're all in at say 180. You can't lose when you're gonna go and sell it for 300. She's excited about it because we gave her everything she wanted. I'll tell you guys, it's not always about the price. A lot of these sellers could care less. You know, she inherited this house from her ex-husband. To her, just getting rid of the problem is way worth more than trying to you know prolong this and make as much as possible a lot of sellers it's not about the money so make sure you guys remember that all right so i locked up the one and then hold on pull up DocuSign. and then all right we got another the seller did he just sign let me see it go down seller signed he did sign all right so that's two are you getting nervous no nah. i was gonna go wait until tomorrow to go meet <laughs> alex wentland for a deal but i told him i said dude get me in there today hey <laughs> Anyways, we walk through the house, check it out, do all that stuff, build rapport, and at the end of the day, what do you want from the house? Like, what's most important to you? And she said, and granted, the ARV is 300. She said, 
you know, I know that the appraisal was 300. And then I also used a technique to show her that like, look, you want to list it, you can do that. And I said, honestly, if you list it, I think you're gonna get probably 170. I think somebody will pay 170 and after you have all the fees and everything, maybe you net 150. If you net 150, just know that it's gonna take time to list it. People are gonna have to go through here. It's not gonna be quick. I'm like, do you wanna deal with this? you know, to try and make more money. It's up to you. And she's like, yeah, no, I don't. It's not worth it. It's causing me too much stress. Yeah, you know, she told me, she goes, I don't want anyone else coming through the house. You know, I don't want anyone stealing any of the stuff. Like I just, you know, want it sold. I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll buy it for 120. No one needs to come in. It's a done deal. We'll probably make 70, 80,000 on it, depending on what happens. Me there at the house, I, I should know exactly what I can offer. I can't range. Yeah. when I'm looking at the house. You have a lot more ability to build rapport and then not like hang up on you even though... Yeah, even though I'm offensive. Yeah. Offending yeah. Yeah. Because you're there. Because you're right there. You're right there. Right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so I'm still one deal away from the banana suit. Hopefully, um, this wholesaler gets back to me about a deal that we're really close on. Um, I'm about to go to one of my contractor's offices. He wants to talk about a project management software that he wants me to be a part of. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that and see if there's some opportunity there. All right, this is one of my contractor's shops. He owns this whole land, which is very cool. So what I'm doing is, um, I've been doing this weekly vlog. Last week, I had my kid. Whoa, 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 you had the kid? But yeah, this is my good buddy Mike, who played minor league baseball as well. Contractor here in town, been a contractor for how long? 13 years with this company. 13 years. Built those homes right there. Look at my Facebook page, I'm a junior estimator for this company. A junior estimator. <laughs> All right, it's day two. I did not get three deals. I only got two, which are still great deals, but whatever. Didn't win the bet. Monty, Yo. you don't have to wear the banana suit. I know. How excited are you? I would have rocked it. You would have rocked it? Okay, so do it for two deals. No. <laughs> that wasn't part of the deal. What do we got to do to get you to wear a banana suit? Three deals one day. Three deals in one day. So check this out. I'm about to film some YouTube ads and I've got a copywriter who wrote the ads. We'll see if they end up working. Every time I've run ads, they suck. So I figured I might as well hire a copywriter. He wants one of the ads with Pokemon cards. So I'm actually super excited to open these up. It's been a long time. All right, so the reason that I'm doing this for an ad is because back when I was like 12, 13 years old, I got suspended in middle school for selling Pokemon cards. These were the first things I was ever flipping. So that's what's led me down this dark path I've been on of flipping couches, cell phones, houses, and whatever else I'll flip the rest of my life. It's all because of these things. All right. Let's see what I get, guys. Anyone else want to open a pack? Oh, Rohan within two seconds. I only got three packs, so. Dreamy, Snowmer. I've never heard of any of these. How many Pokemon are there, Rohan? There's like over a Vulpix. Thousand. Vulpix was an old Pokemon. I know that one. I know that. Here's the hologram. Palitoad. Oh, this guy looks like the Mime guy. His name is Mr. Rhyme. All right. That pack sucked. There was no Charizard. Yeah, there's a Mean Juice here for you. Yeah, hold on. We're, tell him we're opening some Pokemon cards. <laughs> you want him in the conference room? Yeah, he's with US Bank, right? Yeah. All right. You know, the first pack, dude. Come on, man. Yeah. How many Charizards do you have? Probably a few in there. First edition? I wish. Dude, no we got here. So I got US Bank waiting for me, but we're busy opening up Pokemon cards. It's not disrespectful. He's a little early. We got to get this done. You got Squirrel. Pokemon? I never heard of I know. <laughs> like Who are these guys? Dude, this one's literally trash. Trubbish. <laughs> he's, he's rubbish? It's literally rubbish. <laughs> I don't think this thing's... Oh, look. There's also a, uh, a coin in here. That's a nice one. Oh, what? Dude, this guy's got 140 damage oh, and 210 this HP. This guy must be good. If any of you guys can tell me what this Pokemon is in the comments below, I wanna know why is he so much more powerful than everyone else? All right, now I've got a meeting with US Bank. 
they are trying to get me to move all my money over to them. And I'll tell you guys, I've been trying to find a bank that's actually gonna give me something in return for my money. So hopefully US Bank tells us some good stuff. All right. How are you? Matt, good. That's waiting. So Matt, I kind of introduced you in there as a business banking manager for yeah. you know, our team. And basically just talk with Ryan about some of the resources and what we're able to do. I'm curious though, like, I mean, like, how you keep going. I mean, like I saw a lot of people, you know, transitioning from residential to commercial. Yeah. Uh -huh. So do you have any plan to go to commercial space at all? Maybe the multifamily and then go to the commercial office retail? Yeah, you know, I definitely want to do things in real estate bigger. Uh, we want to do things on social media bigger, which is why we just film yeah. literally everything we do now. Yeah, I, I think for me, I get bored doing stuff like, you know, I, I do really good at it. And then I put the people in the place so it runs itself and then I'm like all right well what else can we do yeah what's the next big thing and it's like you know we've been flipping for the last six years and it's been super successful it's been the backbone of everything else we do because if we flip and we invest and we do that well it all just ties together and so um, I like it because all the companies complement each other they all do well from each other and now at this point you know as far as real estate goes I mean, I'm not very involved in it at all mm -hmm. in any of the companies. I mean, the most involved I'm in is my own personal brand of making content, making videos, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And that's great because it's allowed me to raise a lot of money. You know, the reason I called Demetrius was I'm just like, we've been looking at, okay, as we get more successful, who are we going to park our money with and who's going to actually help us out, you know? Mm -hmm. And... I've been with Wells Fargo for years. They've never helped us out on anything. You know, Nevada State Bank was good. We've done our PPP loan with them. They gave me an unsecured line of credit for hundred grand. So I was impressed by that, but with Nevada State Bank, the only thing was their integration with QuickBooks and all that's not really good. You know, I'm just looking for somebody that is gonna give us different type of finance products with mm -hmm. either unsecured lines, secured lines, commercial financing, development, just all that. Like that's what's most important to me over anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can do that. We'll, we'll put, once we get those financials, we'll put something together. Yeah. So that you can take a look at how we can help in each different, yeah. you know, part of your business is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most what is, if I could know what is your top three things right now that is in your mind, like, you know, in the next six months then, we'll go, not go for far. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's things I don't even know exist as far as products go, mm -hmm. but, I mean, I guess the number one thing would be unsecured line of credit. Mm -hmm. Portfolio loans are big for me with my rentals because mm -hmm. right now I'm at my, my 10 loan limit. If I can get some type of portfolio loan or maybe some type of unconventional loan where I can get unlimited rentals, okay. I mean, that, would, that actually is probably more important to me than an unsecured line of credit. And then obviously, you know, the relationship side of things, just being able to not call the one eight hundred number, like you said, and <laughs> okay. you know, if I need something done, it's an easy text, and it's done. Right. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said, for me, it just comes down to, you know, like let's see what the results come back with. You know, we'll fill out the balance sheet and you know all okay. this stuff, and mm -hmm. let's see what you know they're willing to really give. And sure. You know, if everything looks good, then it's like, all right, well, let's freaking let's get this rolling, and yeah, I'll show you this this real quick for you guys. Go. We um. So we just. Moved in here a month ago. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Lots of things happened. Yeah, we outgrew yeah. the old space and um, so we're still decorating and whatever, but you know, this is more just the brokerage side, bullpen mm -hmm. area, some private offices for the agents, whatever. And then in here, uh, yeah, this is uh, for the flipping, just sales guys. How many uh, agents right now do you have? Like 50. It's been a good week at the office. We're making deals. We're building new relationships. We might be starting new companies. That's what the life of a business entrepreneur is all about. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Make sure you go and like and subscribe. As always, make sure you go get some deals. Peace.